Hey, good evening, everybody. It's time for the Trick Trades video watch list for July 27th. We got a pretty big list tonight, so let's get into it. Uh, Facebook, I'm not watching this overly, overly heavy, but I do want to talk about it first just because um, it did have some pretty crazy earnings here. <clears throat> also, I'm going to do a uh, another trade recap on this. I forgot to throw in a trade. That was a really nice one, so I'll save that to the end. Anyways, Facebook, so it dipped off. Like I mentioned in chat, usually the first reaction to earnings are the opposite. Uh, I was watching this. I just about grabbed long here at this uh, this dip after this dip and reclaim the 160. I, I didn't. I, I don't. I don't really like playing after hours, but I mean in hindsight, I mean Jesus, 12 points from there. So a little bit of a disappointment, but whatever. So I will be watching this for some intraday action. Um, now let's uh, let's go to the regular schedule programming. Okay, our ARWR, I started alerting this um, right in the 75-ish area. Um, it is starting, it is going to most likely gap up. Um, that That's what I'm guessing. It sold off a little bit right at the end of the day, people taking profits. They probably got in on this pop here. Uh, this, is, this is the type of chart you want to watch for, guys. I mean, if you see something consolidating like this all day long and it pops and holds, Go long because it's that's a good indication that they know something that we don't. So uh, definitely we'll watch this for a move. It's also let me kind of zoom in here. <clears throat> draw a trend line. Yeah, we'll just draw kind of a loose trend line here. So it's popped out of this downtrend uh, with force. It's it's also just kind of just teetering with these highs. So if it can if it can break the high of, of today, right? Um, look to, look to go long for a move to uh, a little bit better than two. I, I think she can go. Uh, volumes coming in. Uh, it, it is a, a fair size. It, ha it usually has some fair size volume. So. Okay, MBRX. I like this to the long side, and you know, I know it's a it's it's a junk ticker, guys. I know that, right? But uh, if it if it breaks this here, oops, let me move that up a little bit. So if it the breaks the twenty five area, uh, it should push to highs, and then if it breaks highs, we'll catch some shorts off guard, and boom, we should get a pretty explosive move at least to three. It's a it's a low floater, and you you can see it has explosive moves in the past, so that's what people are going to be watching for. I think there's going to be some chat rooms uh, on this tomorrow as well. Uh, I really think this is going to go. Uh, I have. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this one for sure. AMD, uh, going to be watching it again uh, just for some intraday uh, moves. Uh, just really, I, I nailed uh, one trade on this today. Uh, took one loss as well, really small, just a few cent loss, no big deal. Um, but uh, the win on it was to the short side. Yeah, beautiful. JD, okay. Um, it couldn't hold the 46. It popped through and then rejected. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm looking for a move down. I'm gonna look for some sort of support. You know, probably in this area. So it's it's basically we, we can we can easily catch a point if this comes to the downside. So definitely watch this. Just remember, there's big intraday swings on JD. So uh, get the move you're looking for and then get out. SGMS uh, played this one. Uh, lost one, 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 uh, up on the name for the day. It, it failed to put in a new high. Um, it, it approached those and then kind of just, just couldn't do it. Um, it's holding the 39 just exactly on that, uh, decreasing volume as well. It's start starting to die out. Um, people are losing interest in the name, and then that's when people start taking profits. It should be a very powerful uh, downside move. We should be able to catch uh, some downside of 39 breaks. But, however, watch for the um, uh, the 40 test. It, it may test 40 yet, so, so definitely be watching that. Um, TEAR, this is one of my, my main watches. Uh, I'll throw out some, some trend lines here. So we got that. 
Oops. Come on here, man. So I'm looking for the break of this pennant, this flag, um, either direction. But I, my opinion is, I think it's holding on for a reason. It's putting in higher lows as well. Um, look for the break of three and the break of this this trend line. I'm actually going to uh, hold on a sec here. I want to set an alert for us here. If it breaks that. Uh, definitely go long because it uh, it should it, it'll retest highs I'm pretty sure it'll or at least you know I mean there, there's 50 cents of potential upside here with very minimal downside so it's it's worth the watch right so uh, I'll be watching that uh, NEM uh, it's had a pretty decent move up it's uh, recently the past couple of days has went parabolic uh, it blew through uh, 37 couldn't hold so I'm looking for basically the retest of 37 and fail uh, coty uh, tested the 20 uh, couldn't quite make it uh, as well as you know we got this this kind of cup here right so um, it basically tapped that and couldn't make it. Uh, I'm going to be looking for some downside. However, if 20 breaks, well, we should get a retest of these highs. Um, so, so just just watch this one. There's there's upside and downside to COTY, I believe, for tomorrow. Uh, FCX. Uh, no, you know what? I'll save that for last because that's my trade recap. Uh, FE. Uh, it's had a move up. It's held the nine. Um, I don't know. I think that, uh, if this breaks, this level here breaks again, uh, I'm only watching this one to the, to the, to the short side, but that's all I'm watching for. So if this 85 area breaks and, um, uh, it should retest lows here. And then, um, if it breaks from there, we could, we could get a quite a bit of a move. I think it, 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 when it started to fail, it just found this right here as support and then bounced. Uh, if it tests it again, I believe we'll get some downside. And you, and you can tell it has some pretty pretty nice down days, right? You know, So uh, probably 50, 60 cents of downside. H-A-I-N. Uh, this really, I mean, it, it can't really break the 44 area. Uh, it breaks it and just can't hold. I, I think this is gonna pull back probably to the 9 EMA, which is, um, uh, you know, it's, we got, we got some downside, right? So what do we got here roughly, uh, over a point, point and a half. So I, I'm going to be looking for at least a point on this. If this fails, I'll be watching this one really heavily tomorrow. So FCX, um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, let me check this gap here. Come on. Okay. So yeah, I did feel that. Um, so we had the 15 test, it blew through, um, couldn't, it held it, I guess it held it, technically it held it, but uh, I'll be watching for some downside. Um, but, but if 15 really does hold and retests and, and bounces, there's, there's going to be some more upside. So I'll go to the intraday here on it and uh, show you the trade I took. Mo and I basically took the exact same trade. So uh, these downtrends, uh, when it breaks, it's it's been a pretty powerful move up. So I got long uh, right as soon as it kind of broke and held. Uh, I believe my entry was 08 on that. And I think it was 08. Um, and it, and it, we just kind of rolled it up. Uh, my first peel was right in here. I took some off. I was distracted. I was helping a member out. I was annotating a chart at the time, or I would have peeled some off in here on this push. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then as it kind of started coming back down, I just got out. I, yeah, I got out right here at the break of this line in the sand. Right, you can see that line in the sand. And uh, once that broke, I got out. Um, 
Mo got out at the exact same time too. So a really killer trade on that. So I wanted to throw that in before I forgot again. But yeah, that's the uh, Trick Trades video watch list for July 27th. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, definitely uh, watch out for these tickers because I think we, we're going to have a really big day tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we get some volume in the markets and uh, we can get some momentum back. All right, guys, take care and have a good night.